in a market where the affordable rents are $700 or $800, the market rents in that same market might be $1,000 or $1,500. So that makes the lender feel really good because obviously whoever's going to rent here is getting a huge advantage to market. Now, I would say that's true in most major metropolitan areas, like the Twin Cities or Chicago. Now, the challenge is in rural projects, um, in general, the market dynamics are such that that discount is much smaller or sometimes even non-existent. So even in the tax credit program, rural projects are the most difficult to finance. And that goes both for investors and for lenders. There's a couple of other things on, on rural projects that make it difficult. One of them is the employment base. Just like any other real estate deal, you know, affordable housing projects can be subject to, um, to population loss. And if you've got a town of uh, five or 6,000 people and there's a single employer of 2,000 people, you know, those are the kind of uh, communities that are difficult to underwrite because you're worried what happens if that employer were to leave. So it really makes it a challenge. And I think it's a significant challenge, particularly in Minnesota and areas of North Dakota right now with the oil. Um, you know, how do you attract capital to something that may be you know, where population growth may be cyclical in nature.